All right, thanks for coming today. Thanks for uh, giving us the opportunity to talk about our drones here. Um, so basically, we just want to briefly talk about drones in general first. I think uh, drones is taking over, uh, getting started in the last few years uh, for agriculture and the industrial use, rather than just recreational photos and videos. Uh, so this one is our uh, fifth generation agriculture spray drone, uh, which has a 10 liter tank, uh, can uh, fly at like six meters per second. Um, it got two uh, automated flying modes. I will talk about that in a little bit more detail later on. And uh, I think uh, the drone spray is not designed to uh, replace big machineries for broad acres. Currently, it's mainly uh, very popular in the hilly areas because it has uh, like a terrain following module underneath. It all can follow the terrain. Uh, so it's got used in the forestry industry a lot and uh, some of the hilly areas which is inaccessible for vehicles or, or large machineries and uh, so it can spray uh, not just liquid we got a granular sprayers as well and also we got a mist device which is popular for the forestry jobs um, all right so this this uh, is a 10 liter drone we have a smaller version with a 5 liter it's like an entry level for, uh, for people to, to know about it, to get used to it. And uh, also we have uh, 25 liters uh, as well. It's powered by battery, so it's easy to maintain. There's no engine or anything. Um, and also as an industrial drone, it has to have uh, six models to make sure it's fail safe. So if you got one model failed, it still can hover and get in control. As long as it's not two models next to each other fail at the same time, it still can hold itself. Right, in terms of the um, spray efficiency, I think it um, can cover about 1.8 to 2.2 um, acres per flight. That's about 10 minutes. So uh, the battery is designed to finish the tank. So about 10 minutes will finish that 10 liter tank. Then we fly back and then refill swap batteries and um, now I'll be talking a little bit more about the flying modes uh, one of the most popular mode is we call it the AB mode what it does is uh, for example if you have a paddock in this kind of a shape you fly to one the edge set an A point then fly to the other end set a B point then you turn the uh, controller will automatically repeat the AB pattern until it let it you stop it. If in the middle of the fields is a run out of uh, chemicals, you can fly it back, refill, swap, then flick, flick a button, it will automatically go back to the same point and keep going. There's the other mode, um, we use the app, which run on all the uh, Android devices. Basically, you open up that little app, you will have a Google map on it, then you, you, you just pick the area you want to spray and uh, if there's a tray in the middle or there's an area in the middle you don't want to spray you can put an obstacle in the middle then when it uh, automatically calculates the uh, fly uh, routes it will avoid that area so that's the two uh, flying mode we're gonna demo for today um, a little bit more on the uh, spray side things so this is a standard nozzle you can change it to whatever you want to and uh, with the propeller on the top it can in a certain degree to avoid the drifting because the, uh, the air is pushing the droplets down and also the uh, propeller is creating a water wash effect so the droplets is not just going on the top it's going to the bottom as well uh, to do commercial jobs the, you need to have a company which have the operator's license and the pilot, you will have a remote uh, IEPO lesson, basically the pilot lessons. And uh, to spray on your own land, private use, you don't need a license. Would you be able to spray it, say, in a town area, like a residential area? Can you fly these there? You fly, fly. In a residential area. It's not, if it's your private like land. If, you, if you've got a residential block, yep. you can fly that on your block. Yeah, if it's your own block, yes. Yeah. 
I know there are some other um, legal side of things. For example, normal license only allow you to fly 25 kilos. You need another level of license if you want to fly a 25 liter drone. Because this one's 10 liters. It's designed so once it's loaded with uh, chemicals and the battery, it's just below 25 kilos to meet the regulation. So the, the first display will, uh, demo will be the AB mode. So I'll set up uh, point A and the point B, then let the drone repeat itself until I call it back. I'll set the point A here, so that's where it starts, the, the first row. So I'll set this one as the point B, assuming that's the end of the row. Now it will repeat that pattern without me touching the control. So when it's shifting the row, it will stop spraying. When it's going along the row, it will start spraying. How long does it take to recharge the battery? If you use a fast charge mode, 30 minutes. Now I'm trying to uh, uh, I'll interrupt the, the process just uh, um, to simulate it's out of chemical. We need to drag it back, change batteries, and refill. I'll just fly it back to somewhere. For example, if this is the home point, you might recharge putting the chemical on, and then you flick a button, or go back to the same point where it stops, and then keep going with the pattern. Normally we suggest 1.5 to 2 and based on what the, the chemical requires, I guess. And if there's like a small stalk sticking up, will it avoid it? Yes, it, it, it got the terrain following thing, yeah. Alright, I'll leave it there and uh, I'll fly it back. to the controller via Bluetooth and uh, lots of contractors use the app to do their jobs because this way they can schedule one job then save it to the phone normally the same area they might need to spray several times so each time they just load the previous task I've just uh, set up a little task in this area based on Google map. If someone is interested, I can come to you, you can have a little look. Uh, so basically, you just get up the area, set up the area with your fingers to say, I want to spray this area. And also, uh, I'll put in a little obstacle in the middle. So when it's planning the road, it automatically avoid that area. Now 
I can just click a button, then it will start the, uh, the task. So the, uh, the range is 1.5 kilometers, but with this app, you can tell strong if you lost signal, just keep going because you can set to, for example, if the chemical is running low, just set up to fly back home, or automatically fly back home. <laughs> so you say it's maintaining the speed based on the GPS, doesn't matter where the wind comes from. Or right, similar to the AV mode, if uh, it runs out of battery or out of a chemical, we can get it back, then press the button or go to the same point and keep going until they finish the task. Just uh, stop it there. And uh, this one got an automatic, uh, automatic flight home function. Basically, you use a button, it will go back. When it comes back, just in case there's something on the way, it will raise up to a certain height, then come back. But you can set that height. Currently, I set, set it to uh, 30 meters. Let's try that. Now it's trying to go up to that height, then come back. you've covered the area you've covered and I'll give you an idea you know you how the spray is a typical area and save it as kind of you want to spray this area three times mm. can you say all right do this pattern you know three times and actually do that or do you have to set it every time no you can save this task next time just load this task okay cool let it do it again yep yeah and uh, to get the point you can use your fingers to uh, to set the area on the app or you can use the drone to fly to the First point, set a point there. Fly to the deck one, set point. Just in case, you know, Google ta Google Maps sometimes is not up to date, not that accurate. Yeah. All right, that's that's the demo for the flying. Um, the other thing I want to uh, to talk about is um, the uh, the design of this drone. So this, this is the fifth generation. So all the uh, arms are carbon fiber, really strong very difficult to break and there are designed breaking point on the legs so the leg just enhanced plastic they got uh, quite a few uh, breaking points so just in case you crash the drone this design breaking point will cra crack first because the uh, legs are plastic cheap to replace so you don't want to replace these things and you all have a protection for the important parts and also uh, it's a foldable design so all these legs fold up, then uh, they can stand on the shelf. It's easy for you to pack into the car. <laughs>